I'm Denise Smith and I'm the program manager with Rise Vermont. I want to welcome you to the Rise Vermont TV show. In partnership with Northwest Access TV, we're going to be providing weekly insight, inspiring ideas, and stories about how to live healthier, happier lifestyles in Northwest Vermont in the counties of Franklin and Grand Isle counties. Thank you so much for joining us and we hope you enjoy the show. So we are back with Cara Bior and we're going to talk in a little bit about core strength and run you through some exercises that you can do in the workplace to make sure that we're keeping our core muscles nice and strong. Well, thanks for having me. So talking about your core, you know, most people just go to, oh, I don't want to do sit-ups, I don't want to do, you know, all these crazy core exercises. Really, you can do them in your chair. Mm -hmm. Now, as you get stronger, you want to challenge yourself some more. But there's a lot of really interesting exercises that you can do right at your desk while you're having your lunch. So the first one I'd like to show you is how to use your lower abdominals. Most people, when they think of their abs, they think of the muscles you would use to do a sit-up. Well, the lower abdominals actually would do the reverse. So they would curl your pelvis up towards your face mm. versus your top down. Yeah, okay. okay. So the lower abdominals are actually in my opinion, a more important set of muscles to help um, with back pain because they're closer down to where most of our issues occur. Yeah. So to do a lower abdominal crunch, I call them pelvic tilts, okay? So a lot of people, when they go to do a pelvic tilt in a seated position, which is where I'm going to show you for the workplace, they kind of just collapse. Yeah. Okay. And that looks like a pelvic tilt, but all it is is you're just collapsing your posture. Mm -hmm. So that's not what it is. So what you want to feel is the lower abdominals engaging, almost like there's a ratchet strap that hooks underneath your pubic bone okay. and is pulling up. Mm -hmm. So if this all stays still, you know you're doing it correctly. Okay. And what you should feel is yourself rolling back onto your tailbone. Oh, yeah. And okay. then relax. Yeah, I can feel my whole abdominal area exactly. tightening. And the more you concentrate on it, the more it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So you can make a really big contraction and hold it mm -hmm. and then relax. Yeah. You also can just do a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it is what you make of it. Yeah. So those are called pelvic tilts. If you do somewhere between 10 and 20 of those, it's a really, really good exercise. Yeah. Again, it's just curling that pelvis back, mm -hmm. feeling those abdominals kick in deep below your belly button. Yeah. Okay. So another one that you can do are called lateral tilts. I love these because these work those side muscles on either side of your back. So you have a towel and I'd mm -hmm. like you to fold it in half. And this is just a hand towel. I'd like you to fold it in half, in quarters, and then one more time. And this is the only tool that, you don't necessarily need it, you can do it without, but I like it because it makes it a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. You're gonna put it under one cheek only. Okay, I'll go for the left. Okay. So what you're going to do for a lateral tilt is you're going to try to lift your right buttock up off the seat. Okay, without pressing into the feet. Without pressing like into the feet, feeling. without tipping your body. Mm -hmm. You okay. should almost make like a C curve. Yeah. And if you do it right, you should mm -hmm. bring that sits bone on the right side, the mm -hmm. thing that you're sitting on, above the level of the cloth. Huh, I feel like I'm a little weak there. <laughs> it's kind of, it's challenging. So if you're doing it right, if you put your fingers around your backside, other side. The other side. Yep. Right along your spine to the right of your spine, mm -hmm. you'll feel those muscles contract and lift and lower. Hmm. Hmm? So you can yeah. do somewhere between 10 and 20 of these. When you're done, relax into your right cheek and kind of lean away. Okay. And that gives it a Just nice stretch. stretch at the end. Exactly. Yeah. People who have tightness back here, a lot of times I'll tell them to eat their meals. Half the meal with it on mm -hmm. one side, half the meal on the other. Because if you just sit lopsided, there's a nice low level stretch there. Yeah. So then you would switch sides and you would do the other side. So I feel like I uh, am making my glute contract a little bit. So oh. I have to not Isolate do that. Isolate adjust your yes. back. Just a lift. And again, you're trying to make that C curve. I, putting my hand here really is helping. A lot of times I find that that's helpful. It gives mm -hmm. you that proprioception that you're doing it right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those are lateral tilts. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to so, have to work on those. <laughs> so the next one you can get rid of the towel okay. for. And what you're going to do is you're going to scoot to the front of your chair. And you're going to lean back. 
And now all you're going to do is cross your hands across your chest. Okay. No touching the seat. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> and now you're going to do slight rotations and back and forth. Oh, okay. These are like those Russian twists, but yep. for the so workplace. For the workplace. It's using your obliques and a little bit your abdominals because mm -hmm. you're in that pitched back alignment. Yeah. Okay. So that's nice. for the obliques. The last one also causes you to be into that reclined position. Okay. You can make this easier or harder. You just need a little space for your legs, so push back from your desk. But you're going to actually hold on for this one. Okay. And this is just for to help with balance. If you really put your arm weight into it, well, then your obliques are not, or your abdominals are not working. So all you're going to do is you're going to try to lift one knee. Ah, okay. And the other. Mm -hmm. The further you lean back, the harder it is. You can make it harder by doing both. Oh wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> the thing you want to make sure is that you don't make it so hard that you hurt your back. Mm -hmm. Because if you're hurting your back, it means you don't have enough strength to do it correctly. So then start with the one leg at a time. Okay. Yep. So what's a good amount of reps for everybody to start with? I usually tell people start with 10 okay. and then do sets of 10. Okay. You can go through the whole gamut mm -hmm. and then come back and through and do another set if you'd like. Yeah. Um, but somewhere between two and three sets of 10 is kind of what you want to aim for for these. Okay, Make great. sure you breathe. Mm -hmm. Exhale mm -hmm. during the work. Inhale. If you hold your breath the whole time, you're creating some havoc for the rest of the body. Yeah. So focus on that. Yeah, I love that. You can just do it discreetly at your desk. You don't have to lie on the floor in front nope. of everyone and make a scene. Exactly. And you don't have to worry about what's on your floor. <laughs> right. <laughs> right from your chair. Yeah.